Okay, so just a quick video to introduce to you uh, Bauma's time of flight distance laser sensor. So this is the OT300DL. So you can see it's in a compact photocell body, same body as the rest of the O300 series. You can see the emission point here and the receiving lens here. LEDs on the top for output indication and also the area on the back here for QT, just like the rest of the series. So in the same uh, housing and body as all of the O300 series, this being the OT300, so it is a time of flight technology sensor, allowing us to have a measuring range of 100 mil all the way up to 1.8 meters with a nice small beam spot and giving you an analog output direct from the sensor of zero to 10 volts, which is teachable and with a very small beam spot. So if I just power the sensor up now, you can see that the beam spot is very small and that will keep its size irrespective of the distance that you are away from the sensor itself. So a nice simple uh, distance gauging uh, measurement sensor Superb for level type applications where you need a coarse level. Nice and simple analog output in voltage, which can be taught. And also, this is the only uh, sensor within the OT range of uh, sensors that we provide that doesn't have IR link. It is a simple point and shoot analog output device, which is teachable within its range. Okay, so now we've got the OT300DL analog output uh, set up, looking at my wooden target here, about just over 1.4 meters away. You can see the beam spot on the, on the target there. And that's giving us an analog output here of around 7.4 volts. So just to show you some performance of the sensor, if I move it in, you see the analog output reacting to that up and down so you get a nice gauging analog output with the voltage changing it can deal with some angle change no problem at all and again fairly good stable output now if i put something dark into the uh, in front of the sensor as the target instead you can see again the beam spot there a nice analog output there again can deal with the angle change fairly well and giving us pretty much the same answer here where the wooden target was all the way up to where the sensor this is up to its dead zone. So there you go. Performs well there. Then of course it will deal with quite really bright and shiny targets quite well square on. So there you go. Obviously with a mirrored light surface you are going to get some issues where you spend uh, send too much of the light away but in the main you get a nice gauging output of where that distance is as long as you keep it fairly true but anything that's not mirror like like this standard targets like the wooden target like a darkened target you get a very good analog output, plus or minus a few mil throughout its 1.8 meter range with a nice small beam spot. So just to summarize, uh, the OT300DL is a great sensor for simple gauging type applications hopper levels, uh, detecting distance of 
uh, parts away from a robot or things like that with a simple analog output in a small photo cell size with accuracies plus or minus a few mil giving you a nice analog output over that range anything up to 1.8 meters in this small housing easy to teach simple output cost effective